What's up, bro? What up? You're back in the heartland. I'm back home, dude. Back in my mommy and daddy's basement. That's that's a good feeling, dude. I'm in my basement right now. It's a nice feeling to be at mommy and daddy's. This is where you podcast the best, dude. This was the last, yeah, we did an episode down here. I'm in the same spot. It was cited by the press. The press did say that we called Southern soldiers so gay. <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe it? Oh, um, man. How are you? Chilling, dude. I'm, I'm getting my um, my whole squad. I, I got a right now point man for the whole squad. Jackson's got diarrhea. Matilda's uh, being generally weird. So I got to, I have to, my dog takes dumps, diarrhea in my backyard, drops piles basically. Yeah, so I have to watch three days. I've been on dump watch being like, come on, drop, just show me some kind of thing resembling a, like a proto turd. Because when it turns, when his diarrhea turns, there's like, it'll be kind of like, yeah. you know, slippery little slugs. I'm like, just uh, trust me. I know about it. <laughs> <laughs> I know when that diarrhea turns, what you're working with. Yeah. Yeah, that's I'm, the light at the end of the tunnel, dude. I'm waiting for the light at the end of the that's tunnel. That's when you, you're looking for the curve to flatten on the dog diarrhea. Exactly. You're trying I'm, to flatten I, you know, that people curve. Are, people are saying I'm too optimistic, too hopeful. Giving Bro, me shit, saying it's how hard. great, how great is our God, dude? He's doing it. My president right now is doing a good job. My all president. Right. You can slander him all you want. Slander him all you want. But our president, sorry he was optimistic. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry, sorry he, he wasn't believes some in experimental doom and medicine. Leftist that's just trying to get authoritarianism passed, but we're not going to let it. Facebook's already starting their like tracers and stuff. Facebook and, Facebook and Google are already like, oh, we're already working on this thing to track people. It's like, okay, guys. You guys yeah, knock it off. You guys are think tinkering on that, and that's all you guys do. What are you talking about? Dude, people are getting red pilled left and right. Yeah, man. It's I was it. just talking to I was just talking to Claire. She just got red pilled. She, she was like, I didn't know uh I didn't know Bill Gates was such a bad guy. I was like, Whoa. and she was like, Doesn't Donald Trump like say deep state? Like, I think he's trying to help us. I was like <laughs> She got Trump's the white hat red pilled? No, she gets mad anytime I like give it if I give Trump a compliment, she like spazzes out. But she did. Say but she it. did get red pilled hard on him saying deep state during like pressers, and then she just found out Bill Gates was shitty. Yeah, Bill Gates is a bastard, dude. Bill he's Gates. Going Bill Gates kind of, we need to knock his block off. Dude. We've talked about it before. He's been going around like yeah. just circumcising people in Africa, just all willy nilly. Just yeah, he's practicing eugenics on brown people. I don't like that. That's what the elites love to do. He is he is going into Dong Wakanda, dude, and trying to mess with the. The essence, he cannot. The pure dong. He's trying to go he also the pure dong, the mother dong. But as a computer dork, it is that's a noble cause oh, to be like a pent up computer nerd and then be like, I'm gonna destroy the dongs. <laughs> Dude, that's bullshit. Like work your way from your garage the whole way to Africa, and now you're. <laughs> so actually, all right, I'm coming around on Bill Gates. I'm talking so that, my way into like. So that's been uh, because that's Bezos's ultimate vision is to like get us into space. Gates might be to like conquer the African dong. The, might, <laughs> the dark continent, dude. The dong continent. He's been dude. having fever dreams since he was a young programmer, dude. He's like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> he wakes up like, oh, it was there. It was on my face. It covered my forehead and my what chin. What is it, Bill? <laughs> it was an Arabian gas mask down to my chin. It was punched it. Belly button. It I thought it was a triple chin. It was the head of a dong. It was there. I swear to God. I'm going to Africa. I'm going to cut them up. <laughs> Damn, dude. I didn't even think about it. He might have had something to do with Kobe. Bro, you, th you think? He did a TED Talk three years ago being like, we got to watch out for uh, horrible, like, you know, transmittable diseases or whatever. He's been calling epidemic. This is the new terrorism, dude. Nobody cares about ISIS anymore. That that died with, you know, the Clinton Foundation. People are like, oh, yeah, Whoa. those – those guys we were scared of in the fucking desert on dirt bikes. It's like, okay. We were kind of wrong about them. Yeah. They do love whipping people into a frenzy and I'll admit they got me. They got guys on the dirt bike. Well, I will say guys on dirt bikes are always a problem. That no matter where they buy are. Fucking weed whacker motors. <laughs> you, hear light, you hear a light buzz around your town. You know, you're in trouble dude. on the distance. A couple of Yamaha's. <laughs> Come screeching up. Some dude in a Lionel Messi jersey and a black <laughs> scarf on his face is going to kill a gay dude. <laughs> I heard there were gay men in this, in this town. 
that's so funny when they're like all right we got to get over there we got to hit the white house and they get on soil and they're like oh shit a gay nightclub blah blah blah, blah. they just can't <laughs> fucking stay on task they're like there's I no it. way yeah they get to america like, they're gonna they're gonna fuck us up they're gonna blow up the <laughs> white house it's like dude they got like one night we got one retarded gay dude to attack a gay club that's all they did <laughs> He got here. He's like, "What's the mission? Attack the White House?" And he was like, uh, "Let me, let me go see a gay bar." I've been hanging out this club. He probably <laughs> let loose, dude. It was like, oh, "I can't let this get back to anyone." I think that guy was an American citizen. True, true. I think that guy was literally from like Orlando. <laughs> it was just like one day he was like, "I'm with ISIS." Yeah, that was definitely a psycho. But it's a good convert, though. Yeah, yeah. That was like Age of Empires. They used one of those priests and just fucking turned one of our guys into theirs. <laughs> You know, <laughs> he just attacked. <laughs> they fucking got it. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, man, man. Good, good ISIS, fact check. ISIS, good. ISIS still holds up and is funny. I, I do. I mean, they're nothing against the invisible enemy. I mean, they're hilarious. For, don't, is the invisible, of, hold on. Is the invisible enemy COVID or is the invisible enemy the deep state? Oh. You tell me. It's all about the narrative spin, dude. People people argue like, oh, this is made up. It's like, dude, all you need is one thing, and then you can lie your pants off about it, and there's no repercussion. Yeah. Like, dude, I, when these numbers came out, when they, were, when they were talking all this shit, I was like, I just, dude, I, I, don't, I don't see it, dude. I don't think we're going to get hit. Like, we're not going to have the bubonic plague again. I mean, hey. Yeah. Hey. You know, Look, we, we, could be, we could be celebrating a little early here, dude. This could be, but I we are officially announcing COVID is done. On the podcast today, it's over. You guys yeah. can go about your business. <laughs> Dude, they uh, shut can down. Can you get in trouble for that? Uh, if you're, who's the guy who does London Real? You know the Jack guy who um, always vlogs the shirt off, Brian something. He's like, hey guys, just did a forty-seven mile hike here. Oh, they shut down my David Ike video. Did you see that guy? No, I didn't even watch that. I didn't watch the David Ike video. <sighs> Do you know, do you watch London Real? It's a guy who always no. wears a pinstripe suit. No, he, he sounds great. He, he's pretty fucking sick. We got to he wears a He wears a suit? He wear, every interview wears right. it. It's called like, his name's like Brian something. Every interview you wear a pinstripe, he wears a pinstripe suit. And so he's every, a classic man. Classic, dude. He's a classic man. And he, yeah, he's G Denna, dude. And now he loves, <laughs> now he loves freedom. He loves David Icke. He did a David yeah. Icke, his David Icke interview was fire. I'll give it to him. But it got pulled down. Now he's being like sanctioned and shit by London or whatever. So now he just takes his shirt off every morning, just vlogs with like a selfie stick. And he's like, hey, guys, quick update. I'm worried about David Icke. Uh, <laughs> dude, he's so fucking funny. <laughs> Nothing like a good squint into the distance, dude. Oh, yeah. This dude, this dude rules. Yeah, um, dude, we, the fact that we're not doing shirtless vlogs is killing us right now. Mm, no. Killing our numbers, dude. <laughs> we're all right. Killing our – we should start doing like – Hey guys, we just did like uh, three sets of ten push-ups. Uh, <laughs> My wrist hurts. <laughs> My wrist hurt on the last one, so I did seven. <sighs> <laughs> I got a little tendonitis of the elbow from gym class. It's flaring up again. People are furious about the John McAfee interview. I'm kind of worried about his safety right now. True. Yeah, McAfee, McAfee was saying, dude, we might have to run it back with Big Mac, dude. We have to hit the Mac attack, dude. <laughs> He's been going against cronies day one. He has. He might be right about. It. He might be the most right. I mean, dude, he's been. I mean, he knows everything. Obviously, he's flying drones over, you know, uh, Epstein's place. So he knows what's going on. I hear that. Heard that twice, dude. Say it again, dude. How you feel, man? Back from a I mega, feel all right, man. Mega I'm back from mega vacation and now the mega vacation is going to keep rolling i'm gonna take a little rest stop at mommy and daddy's and then tomorrow i'm gonna to head out to stanhope's i'm gonna start driving to arizona tomorrow Ooh, so, what's your what's your safety plan in the parents house right now uh you're as nothing. good as I just, up, you what? I just went upstairs and rummaged rummaged through the cabinets so i might kill my parents because i needed some keebler cookies <laughs> 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 i risked it all for a couple of keebler elf cookies which ones? E.L. Fudge? Yeah, dude. Whew. Dude, I'm about to risk my family for one of those little fudge wheels. No, dude. True. It was a classic <laughs> E.L. Fudge. And I saw them and I was like, dude, they had a good life. True. You need sustenance they right now. They get cronies from these E.L. Fudges. That's what happens. Yeah. I mean, I, they'll... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll probably eat dinner with them. I'll probably sit at dinner. Like, I mean, 
I don't know. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll kill them. If yeah. I do that. It's a good time to kill them if you want to kill them. You could kill them right now. Just murder them. They'll count them as yeah, COVID. You, if you murdered your parents right now, they'd like come in with like a head wound and be like, COVID. <laughs> One, two, four. Okay, here it we was go. COVID's <laughs> breaking people's heads open. <laughs> uh, is my internet fucking up? Is that happening? A little bit. It's little, it is a little bit fucking up. Pause it up. Let's jump. We'll see uh, something. Uh, Disconnect and reconnect. Disco Rico, dude. We're back in, dude. I mean, yeah. It's Mad Max world, dude. If you see a glitch, that's just that's what it is right now. Nothing we can do, bro. The fight one of my I eyes turns to... red. It's like <laughs> back in. Sorry, dude. Terminator. <laughs> the fight world. I had to have. The fight I had to have to get this fucking Wi-Fi. It's it's incredible. Oh, Every dude. time I'm at this house, yeah. there is a guaranteed fight for what the Wi-Fi is. No one here writes it down, and either do I. I probably should. Well, is it like the one that came with the router or is it like geezer geezer password codes are easy to crack it's like phil gillis address birthday (laughs) yeah well no it's usually my niece's name Mm. and her birthday got you but there's some with my just my niece's name there's some with capital niece's name there's some with my sister's name there's it's just like yeah the geezer they they do and i never understand i mean i guess you're supposed to but use the same password for everything just fuck it yeah. Like the only thing I ever have to remember is if it's capitalized or not. Yeah, I have like one or two passwords that I just cycle through. If it's not one, it's yeah. I, I'll just cycle through all my passwords and I'll get it. My mom doesn't know the password to log on to her computer. Say what? You know the like the passcode for mm-hmm. a, a user? She does not know that. So yeah. if the computer like I restarted the computer last time I was here, that was chaos for a week. <laughs> she couldn't do work. I mean it's and it's a fight. And then she gets nervous because I'm, you know, I'm not the nicest guy. You're ticking so time like, bomb, dude. You got, the pin out, a, you got a pin out of the grenade. Look, mom, if I'm trying to play Total War on <laughs> your computer in your office, I need the fucking password. <laughs> and then when I find out you don't know your own computer password, I'm, I'm going to get fired up. You're going to have a salty son. You're going to start playing Total War in real, real life. Gonna be t- I'm going to bring a brigade to her fucking gut, dude. I'm going to punch her in the belly. <laughs> Yes. How's everybody happy to see you or what? What's going on? Yeah, they were happy. I could tell they were happy to see me, but it's just my mom and dad. My sister is over at my other sister's house. So gotcha. that's good. That's nice because she's the one who would definitely die. Yeah, you're, that's good. Did she move? Did they move her in the night when they heard you were coming? <laughs> they must have, dude. They heard <laughs> the dirt bikes rumbling up from Virginia. <laughs> they knew I was coming to kill the <laughs> sick women. <laughs> Oh man, two weeks at a lake house is is fun, but you really start to hate all your friends. Yeah, you guys. I mean, that's that's close quarters for a while, man. We did turn it around. The second week was better. First Good. week, first week there was some uneasiness about how long certain people were staying there, and if they were, you know, two days or two weeks. I guess it's up to them. Yeah, that'll that'll wear the group out of of just the uncertainty. <laughs> just the uncertainty, and then. You know, it was a whole, it was a whole thing. Could you blame, could you blame anyone? No blame. For not wanting to leave the perfect fucking spring slash winter. Literally no blame. Perfect spring, spring slash, slash winter, excuse me. No, it was the perfect spring, dude. It was, it was warm out there. It got out on the boat. Me and O'Connor's had a nice, we had a nice late night boat trip, dude. What? 2 a.m., took some mushrooms. We probably shouldn't have been on a boat, but. Was it anchored or were you guys? No, just. Either- cruising down the smoke. lake just wow. perfect still water be- stars were out completely it was fucking incredible that's it was awesome. so nice we took turns standing on the bow listening to music oh man that's awesome <laughs> <laughs> pretty gay in hindsight but i woke up the next day i was it was one of those hangovers i was happy about that'll charge you up I was man. like that was that was fucking great that's awesome yeah, so we got that going. I think someone's blasting music upstairs, and I am about to fucking spaz on is my it, mom again. Is it the Alexa? Is, yo, tr- turn the Alexa Hold off. Your, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's my Spotify, so I can fucking... What you gonna hit him with? Every time she makes dinner, she puts on some gay bullshit. Like right now, she's listening to Carol King. It's always Carol King. Because <laughs> <laughs> you, you've got a friend. What should, what should I fucking blast right now, dude? I mean, What's how the best, how geezer? wicked. The Skrillex one, is funny. Skrillex. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you go old school, DMX is pretty tight. 
Project Chicks, pretty sick. <laughs> 504 <laughs> boys, dude, wobble, wobble, we <laughs> wobble, wobble right now on full blast in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> wobble wobble it's on hold on oh, oh my god you got wobble wobble playing <laughs> it's so loud they can't yell over the Alexa <laughs> to tell it to you. <laughs> it? drop it drop it <laughs> wobble wobble yes <laughs> they're up there they're getting nuts dude I hear movement <laughs> Oh my god! So right now she's cooking, and they're just blasting the. She's cooking. Wobble boys. wobble is blasting in the kitchen. <laughs> they're screaming right now. She's screaming, Alexa! <laughs> Alexa! Alexa! Not in my house, Alexa! Alexa! Hi! <laughs> damn it! <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, it's always fun. It's a nice oh, treat. Man. That is so fun to switch to me, Mama. I'm doing the podcast. <laughs> damn it! Dude, that's the, in the words of every great podcast. I'm just mom, kidding, Mom. Mom, I'm doing the podcast. Mom, Shut I'm up. not ready for dinner. I'm doing the podcast. <laughs> Brittany will shower. <laughs> if she flushes the toilet or, like, God drains damn. the bathtub, the water comes rushing down. I'm like, Brittany, stop taking a shower. I'm doing a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, this is exactly where everybody would imagine me. Yeah, man. You know, Triumphant. Parents' basement. Triumphant. Um. Oh, I'm going to miss SNL's uh, – they're doing a show from – they're doing a show tonight. They're doing a live show. From YouTube's? Like on Zoom. That'll be fantastic. It's going to be really good. They're all playing. Like, they're going to like <laughs> – I mean, that show is great as it is, but you throw in a nice time delay. Oh, yeah. We've got a hit. That's going to be a good one, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I wish I was on that. Mom! Dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Throw my dinner downstairs, mom. mom. Put the steak and mashed potatoes on the front step, on the first step of the basement. I'll come up and get it. If I see vegetables on my plate, I'm gonna fucking spaz. If there's not a one, if it's just Worcestershire, I'm going nuts, dude. The cough, you should cough in her face, dude. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna go upstairs and spit on everything. <laughs> I'm just gonna take a fucking leak on the kitchen table, dude. Oh, you have to let them know. You got it. Um, Dude, I uh, I don't want to brag, but I had a wet dream. First time in my life, two days ago. Jizzed in your sleep? Yep. First time <laughs> in my life, jizzed in my sleep. Couldn't believe it. Couldn't jizzed believe it. Jizzed in your sleep. <laughs> Couldn't so believe it. You, what were you dreaming about? Your wife. Unidentified. It, it was an unidentified sexual object in my dream. You ever do that? Object? Which is a total mystery. Oh person but as a mystery person i have my theories on who it was i think it was probably some sort of spiritual entity but uh and it was funny it was her i think it was her bro she was was santa maria she was cruel to me last my last deep dive she was cruel she was a what happened harsh mistress to me why was she mean to you it was just wicked dude i i I think it was really because i'm (laughs) sleep deprived i was trying to do deep dives on like a collective like where you got high and thought that you were a loser no, not not even close, dude. I I got too close. To then the how is she too. cruel to you? Because the, the usually so you know when you get real stone in your body, you just gets that like real weird kind of like vibrate-y feeling. You know yeah. what I'm talking about? You I get whole, like itchy. See, I don't get my whole body just feels like it's not like hollow, but it's like everything's kind of like vibrating in a weird way. And I used oh to try yeah, to fight, yeah, I remember this. Yeah. yeah, I used to try to fight that off. Now I don't, that's Santa Maria's hold, dude. I go into that, and yeah, I went into she's just it shaking you around. No, I went into it and it was just, God you know, damn my, I, my thoughts were just totally disordered and chaotic and just, I said, you bitch, why'd you do this to Fucking me? Fucking idiot bitch, stop rattling me. And then she came back and I, she let me prone, but do the prone bone in a wet dream, dude. It was pretty tight. You did the proning? Prone bone, dude. I, dude, I mean, I, you want to talk? Oh man, some good pussy. And he fully jizzed in your sleep. It was a, it wasn't a, well, it felt like it, it was when pre-com. I checked, when I checked, it was like a quarter load. It was one. It was it was a pot shot, dude. It was, it was like, once. <laughs> it was just a quick. <laughs> and I woke up and it was so funny. Are you I checked, moaning in your sleep? I don't know. It was just one quick. <clears throat> as soon as I, you know, as soon as I got in a prone bone, you know, it was yeah. over. She squeezed. One time uh, I was, I was in the hotel and Kyle and Six were in the other bed. We were on the road and I, I, you know, I didn't jizz, but I was having a sex dream and Kyla, Kyla was awake and just heard me laying there like, oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. really? In my sleep like nice. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think I said anything. I was just like, 
It is all happening all so right. fast. Stop it to my eye. I'm sorry. Sorry, I, I cannot stop, dude. My mirror monkey. neurons triggered you when you did that. I did it. Monkey see, monkey do. My dude. allergies. My allergies got wild, yeah. wild. Yeah, yeah dude. My eyes. Out. My eyes were like crusted over when I woke up, like full fucking. Like I had Ray. hay fever, bro. You were Ray, dude. I had hay Mama, fever. Mama, what's happening to my eyes? Yeah. Except there's no one there for me. I just had to holler in the dark, dude. <laughs> mama. <laughs> I mama. did try to holler for my mom. <laughs> I suck right now. I'm sorry. You're, dude, you're fucking, what are you talking about? You're crushing. But yeah, dude, okay. I had a, I woke, immediately popped up. I was like, couldn't be true. Checked my boxers. I was like, yes, finally. That, that bothered me. I never had a wet dream before. I don't think I really ever had one. I, I get, you know, the pre-com occasionally. I, I think never, that's the most I ever got. I, it was always like a fight type thing when I'd, I'd start having sex and either wake up or it would just kind of like, yeah. I wouldn't be able to do it, dude. Yeah. I think it's the fact that I've been sleeping in boxers. Ever since I have a daughter, I started wearing boxers when I sleep because I have to like be yeah, bowels yeah. out of a slumber and like burper and stuff. And it just like, feel don't want dong. you don't want dong oh. involved in that. Yeah. You don't want to be holding your baby. Na- I don't yeah. know. I've done it. I've held her naked, like carried her to a bassinet naked in the middle of the night. And I was like, it's just weird. I should keep. I just got to wear boxers now. It is what it is. Dude, I will. You got to you cover your dong. At all times, it's covered. Basically, you have a chastity belt. But I woke up with, and I haven't like woken up with like boxer morning wood. Dude, I, I was like giving myself a wedgie. The one morning I woke up, I was wooded out, and it's my fucking boxers. Just, yeah. I bought I was like, this fucking sucks, dude. Yeah. Oh, you didn't like it? I like that. I don't mind a good boner in the boxers. It looks Bo- good. A little boner wedgie? No, I, but I was like, I felt like I had like a minor wedgie. I was like, what? This is yeah, fucking dude. bizarre. Your dick was bullying you. <laughs> yeah. he's getting your lunch money dude. <laughs> yeah. but yeah man that was tight so i you know i probably have some sort of like i mean the fact that i've spread my seed into the cosmos is you know i'm Same surprised it could be rewarding you with that prone that's what i'm saying i basically have a demigod just floating around now half definitely half man half fucking santa maria dude half I'm, man I'm half really... weed edibles <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fuck me. Dude. Yeah, like, I I was wearing, dude, one day we went on the boat, I wore ski goggles. That's how fucked up my eyes were. Really? Yes. You were it was crazy. Hard, you were can't hardly wait partying? Had to, with a tracksuit, ski goggles. It was sick. It was what? actually pretty cool. It's actually awesome, yeah. I was actually, like, before I even knew there were ski goggles, I was like, I really wish there were ski goggles here. I could be, I could dress like Riff Raff. <laughs> and then, uh, of course, O'Connor just had ski goggles with him. Kind of so white, dude. Ski, he had ski goggles in his BMW. <laughs> he, he might be the <laughs> He had ski goggles in his aunt's BMW. I think they, yeah, I think they come with it. I think there's not like a sunglass holder. It's a ski goggle holder. It is. And you get a, you get a, if you get a BMW from your aunt, you get an instant pass to, you get a season pass to Killington and, <laughs> <laughs> and some fat ski goggles. Ski goggles. They were, they were pretty fat. Some ski blades. They were too big though. I looked like an idiot. They were for uh, they were four of you were wearing a helmet. So they were like huge. They looked like VR goggles. And I was sitting at the I was sitting at the front of the boat while we were driving, and other boats would go by and definitely be like, "That guy is that's a retarded man." <laughs> like, is he wearing VR on the front of that? <laughs> they thought you were v- virtual reality on the lake. Yeah, that could Dude, be a good move. To go to a lake, you go to like a nice like area and just vr out it might be the sickest move you can possibly do yeah going on vacation and staying inside and playing video games the whole time is actually the coolest thing you can do oh yeah like have somebody yeah like if your parents are rich they buy like a nice place you just sit inside and play video games that's the move you are kink video game at the beach is power move i have a cousin who did that constantly it would like really we'd all go to the beach and he would just sit in front of the ps and chill and like all right what are we doing tonight i don't know why sick ass move I don't know why when I was a kid, I never even, I, I, I couldn't even fathom taking the system out of my house. Yeah, you know I didn't, I mean? yeah, I didn't really, I don't think I ever moved a console once. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't think people had that idea back then. It's Plus, a with, the, with the Nintendo, you, you didn't want to jostle that thing or, or the Nintendo. For you can't sure. jostle it. Yeah, that thing stay. you want to drill that thing like a safe into the ground, dude. It's like, as soon as that thing moves, it's, it's fucked. It's over. That's yeah, motherfucking bull. Oh, dude, yeah, I didn't tell you. Well, I did, I kind of, I, I did tell you this, but I didn't tell you the full tale. Sprang into action last night. After I almost said, "Oh lesson, yeah, bro, I fucking spazzed." What happened? Oh, you you you're in that early dad phase too, where like if somebody like ring and runs your house. I remember we got chased. Did you? These dudes, these we rang and ran this guy's house, and he like ran sprint and got in his truck and was chasing us. 
and I was driving and he caught yeah. us in this neighborhood. I didn't know the neighborhood. He's probably he fighting fucking, with, he's probably fighting with his wife. And then you're he, fighting he, with your he wife. He got out of the car and it was like, you know, five high schoolers. He got out of his truck and just, I thought I was going to get my ass beat by this dude. He just fucking spazzed. Again, he had a kid. He's like, I got a fucking kid in there, you motherfucking pussies. Yeah, like, he was probably just eating Sorry, sir. Like a week, he was probably eating shit. Just yeah. fucking every time his wife turned around, he's probably like, <laughs> and then someone <laughs> rang the doorbell. He's like, oh, you motherfuckers. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, imagine someone ringing, ringing and running your house, and then you chase them down in your truck. I would have, I would have done it last night. 100%. I mean, Wait, I, what I, happened? I'm sorry. Oh, dude. So hold on. Coronavirus. Nah, bro. The uh, coronavirus. My whole family just got it and just championed it, by the way. Really? My dad, my mom, all of them. Yeah, it's no big deal. They, um, <laughs> dude, so last night, I don't know what's going on with the baby, dude. She was, I think, having like cramps, some weird shit, a gas or something. Usually goes to sleep at like 8 p.m. Then we sleep at like 8 30 till like 11, wake up. I, you know, Dude, last night wouldn't go down till like eleven forty-five. It's just crying for those. It was party time. Three hour. It was total party time. Just staying up. It was rumpus. You can't stay up that late. Absolute rumpus time, dude. And I'm like, so I'm like, come on, fucking please. I was like mad. I was like, go to bed. And just what? And it's the most confusing thing because it's just like, "Ah, ah," and you're like, all right, eat. And it's just like, eat. It's like, "Ah," like, all right. So it's not that. It's always like one of four things. And you do all four things, and it still cries. You're like, well, what the fuck, man? Yeah. There's nothing you can do. So finally. I put her down, dude. It's like a whole art to it. I'm like rocking her, doing all this stuff, you know, patting her back. Finally, she goes, nah, and I put her down. And when you put her down, my hand's on her head and her stomach. I just, I hold her like that while she's down until she falls asleep again. Because when you put them down, they wake up again. So, dude, this is like a 30-minute work in progress of like putting this, God. putting her to bed. And it, it's pretty because you're like, you know, it's fun. You get into rhythm. You get good at it. All I put her down. I get into bed. I have, I have a sleep mask because we have to have like a nightlight on in our room now. So I have a thing covering my face. That's why my hair is always sticking up too is my sleep mask. Keeps my, <laughs> my hair is ridiculous. I don't even know. It looks fucking good, dude. No, about? I'm going like bald and then just in the top of my head, my hair just goes straight up. That's how you this do it. All, it just is straight, bald and straight up. Spike, dude. It's a spike. It's a natural spike. I'm a natural guy, Fieri, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I have a natural Fieri going. <laughs> You got to yeah, floss your tips. It's dude. embarrassing. I, maybe I will. I was thinking about getting wild with the hair. I need a haircut. I might just shave. Might just shave the sides. Leave the bald middle up top. That's a fucking tight move. That'd be sick, dude. That'd be really we'll sick. We'll see what happens. I was thinking this summer of just buzzing it all off, dude. I'm either growing it long or just buzzing it. You keep it, dude. Grow it long. Get that mullet so, again, yeah. dude. That mullet looks fucking tight. I know. I think I have no other choice, dude. Well, that's my other thing, too. I, you know, after last night, I, I've been thinking about this beforehand. I, I have to get jacked for my daughter. And I should probably have long hair, too. But I, I just, I have to get fucking just jacked. I know. I, I have to get jacked as well, dude. It has to be done. It ha- dude, it's, it, it's too late. It's, I'm getting too shitty and soft and gay. Now or never. Dude. You, you should do I need to you, get jacked. If you got fucking yoked, it would be unbelievable. I need to get – maybe I'll get yoked. See, it's funny. I was like, nice, dude. I'll take a month at Stanhope's. So I'll get yoked down there. Bro, I'm going to booze for harder than humanly possible for a month. You can still That's get yoked and booze. To happen. You get yoked and booze? I don't know if I can. Yeah, I mean, I, I couldn't. <laughs> I'd be a total <laughs> fucking place to I don't think I'll stand up if I get hammered every day. Stick anyway, to the we'll edibles, see. dude. Go down there and conquer the uh, Dark Goblin. Just do, just do edibles down there, dude. The edibles are gone, bro. He's got some. Yeah, he's probably got some. He's got some wild edibles, I think. I bet. Right on that Mexican border. <laughs> yeah. Just go down there and just pop blue chews and work out. You'd be fucking yoked. That's true. I could just get my dick hard and do, just do like 10 push-ups a day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just be yoked when I come back, dude. Oh, dude. So last night, so I finally, she's finally starts sleeping. And I'm like. Yes, I get into bed, sleep mask is down, and I hear, <laughs> start, they're lighting fireworks. Oh, like, fuck. Ooh, and I have this, there's like a field next to my house, and I'm like, you know, it's like in the middle of the city, and there's like this vacant field that they can't, they haven't been able to build on for a while because all this bullshit. So, you know, people bring their dogs there. I, there's like professional grade fire. I hear the first one, and I go, motherfucker, I'm like, whatever. And then I hear a couple more, and I'm like, oh no. Slap on the dude. So I'm wearing the same shit right now. Slap on the West Watson, dude. They saw this. They were scared. Wait, you have a West Watson hoodie on? Yeah, Billy bought it for me for Christmas. GP life, dude. So slap, I slap on the watch, dude. Slap on the sweats. And I take, obviously take the sleep mask off. And 
I let I like T two thousand walked like the guy who chases term. I like Michael Myers fast walked. Saw the one. I thought there was gonna be little kids. I thought these were gonna yeah. be like fucking fifteen year olds. I come out. It's like a dude my age, being like, "I'm sorry, I'm sorry." I, I, I'm like, "Dude, what the fuck are you doing?" And he was like, "I, I don't. I, I, we're done. We're done. We're stopped. We're done." Really. So I, I'm like following him to his car, just calling him a pussy and a retard for like five hundred feet. Like, "You're a fucking loser. You're a retard. Get the fuck out of here." And I, you know, I'm saying I'm spazzing, yeah. dude, because I went from like just fighting with my bag, not even like fighting, just like the you know, you're trying to put a kid down. She's like, what? And I'm like, hey, try this. I'm like, fucking Christ. I'm fucking this. Every time she starts going. Yeah. <laughs> and then so I'm like, so I come out. I'm like, I'm going to kill whoever this is. I don't care. You know, they're just, they're going to get the wrath regardless. So I'm, I'm like spazzing, dude. And I like kind of like fast walk to this dude where he was like, what the fuck? And there was like, and it was kind of dark. So I couldn't. Damn, see he could have hit you with a Roman candle though. You were risking. I would have ate it. Dude. That's Brittany was like legitimately scared. She's like, they, they, who you don't know who this is? And I was like, Brittany, I'll die right now. Right now. I've, yeah. I've just taken two hours to put this creature to sleep. You're not making it any easier. Who's I'll willing walk, to die, dude? I'm walking Who's willing to die right in the fight? They, dude, they smelled it. I walked up on like six dudes and they, I mean, dude, am I trying to be a fucking badass? They scattered. Cause it was like, I, I chased the one dude down and was like, what the fuck are you doing? You're a fucking loser. Get the fuck out of here. He's like, all right, man. I'm sorry. And then all of a sudden. What did he say to you? Just he said. Did he, he say anything else? Just apologize. No, no smart. He just apologized. No back talk. No back talk. It was a right. flip. He was you like. Oh. Not be flip. He was trying to be. He had a little attitude. I'll give him that. He was like, well, it's Friday night, man. And I was like, dude, you fucking loser. Shut the fuck up. And then you're just the whole time just killing him. And then I, he walked. He what do you look like? We talking fucking fish like down an, hipster? Yeah. He looked like a fish down hipster who like. Worked at the mechanic shop and nobody wanted him there. He looked like his uncle was a mechanic and he Wood? was. Wood. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was. He had like a. He looked kind of like a, like a real, real shitty John Snow. He looked like John Snow mixed with the weird guy from Girls who fucks the that's main character. Every that's every single hipster in Fishtown. Yeah, it looks like Donald John, Driver mixed with John Snow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, talking about the the Darth Vader dude, like Darth yeah. Vader's cousin or whatever. Him dude, mixed with John Adam Snow. Driver. Adam Driver, yeah. It looks like I love him. that guy. He's a good actor for sure. But I met that did, guy this year. Did you really? Last year. What's his deal? Good boy. Nothing. He was just studying Bill Burr. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I followed this no, guy. There's no story. I just saw him and sat next to him. He was I was like, dude, exactly. Kylo Ren rules. What did he say? He said, thanks, weirdo. She's like, did you actually smash? What her name? Like, dude. Did you actually smash a chick? Do you actually think she's hot? <laughs> you should have asked him. Dude, yeah. Do you think, Hashtag wait, is she hot? What's her name? Lena her Dunham. Name Ren? Dunham. Oh, Lena, Lena Dunham. You're talking about girls. Lena Dunham's hot, dude. How dare you? How much do they pay him, bro? For that smash scene? I'd I'd you'd have to pay me more to That's like do. yeah. That's what you have to pay like <laughs> I'd Amazon rather be workers. I'd rather be in behind the candelabra. Dude. <laughs> he should have got more credit, dude. <laughs> he should have. He's they, like, like right get... now, yeah. Like they, we should have treated him like a first responder, dude. Like you <laughs> You ran in there when no one else would, dude. You're like a 9/11 <laughs> firefighter getting that. Uh, yeah, Matt Damon probably shuffled. It was like girls behind. Uh, fucking behind. I'll I'll blow uh, Michael I'll Douglas. Michael <laughs> Douglas is a jizz. Is... <laughs> <laughs> I'll give Michael Douglas a hand. You're like, do I want a million bucks for being on girls and like pretending to butt fuck that lady or jerking off Michael? It's like I'm jerking off Michael Douglas. I think he like rode out. He like straddled Michael Douglas. I didn't see it. That's the in, that's the inside scoop of Hollywood I need. Did oh, Michael bro. Douglas get hard when he was on top of him? I say I, yes. I could if somebody's grinding on you like that. I bet he got hard with Matt Damon on his riding him. That's a weird. He's been getting that day. fucking Catherine Zeta Jones pussy for too long, dude. True. He needed to switch it up. True. And then he got. I think he got throat cancer like immediately after. What after he did that movie? Yeah. Wow. I'm just saying, God works. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get dirt bikes dude we are isis <laughs> oh dude i didn't so, kill him <laughs> yeah uh, so then i i'm like i'm walking just talking shit to this guy following him as far as i can go and then i see fireworks go off again his pals dude were up in that they're still at it i did a full probably 50 meter sprint towards like six Damn. dudes and dude they fucking scattered <laughs> i was like you really? 
I flew, dude. Like, I'd scatter. I, dude, I would too. I was, I was terrified. I was a new, I was a menace. So I yeah. scatter. I ran, chased them. Yeah, that was like a Grand Theft Auto level, like where the civilians are already running for some reason. Yeah, you remember that? That would always bother me. I'd go out and like try to kill people. There, the whole block's already sprinting. <laughs> you gotta chase them. I was GTA last night, dude. Yeah. Then. You tap an X as hard as you could. You're like, you motherfucker, I'm going to catch you. They ran to – I had to, like, stop and be like oh, – oh, oh. <laughs> They ran into this house, all ran inside, and there was a girl outside. And I was like – I was like, dude, tell whoever's in here to stop fucking lighting fireworks. And they were like the, – the girl's like, there's no – you know, that, all drunk and shitty. And I was like, shut the fuck up, you retard. And blah, blah, oh, blah, blah. Dropped a lot okay. of retards. Dropped a lot of retards at people. And yeah, that was – that was getting thrown around a little willy nilly at the lake house, and I didn't like it. Really, people were using it. I was using in it. In the, they were using it in the morning. I was trying to get coffee, and what? somebody was like, "Fucking coffee machines made by retards!" And I was like, "All right, whoa, that's, let's yeah, slow I mean, down with the retards." I was using it in anger, first of all. You're using you know? it. They're using it wrong. Yeah, I was. You're using, using it. it. Hurt. Anger is correct. You were using, using it to hurt, hurt people. Yeah, dude. Exactly. Speaking of retards, how about Louis Special? Still haven't. That was like my thing. favorite. That's like my favorite bit. I mean that's that's telling an old retarded guy be like, hey, you're not retarded anymore. I that oh, did you did you cure it? No, we're not even working on it. (laughs) (laughs) No, (laughs) we're not even working on it, dude. We're just not calling you that. (laughs) That's so funny. Yeah, dude, I'm 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 very mad about the uh, girl on the front porch talking shit. See, I mean, they all, dude. I was looking at the house. There was people on the second floor peeking out. Dude, these were people my age peeking out of the house looking down while i was like telling their girlfriend i was like these guys are fucking losers you're a fucking loser and i was like kind of almost about to cry i was so mad so i was like oh, no, just, no. and i was out of breath so i'm like oh, yes, fucking, my brother just here and he fucking woke her up and fucking fed her. and then i like walked, and then i saw the guy who i chased the other way come back in the house and i walked away and walked back to him he's like dude blah, blah, blah. and i was i just saw the address i said all right i got the address I'll be ringing the doorbell tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. sharp, boys. Dude, he was like, I don't even live here. I was like, I don't give a fuck. I'm going to start bothering yeah. you. Yeah. Know. So now you I told him you were going to kill them. I was, <laughs> when I got back, I was like, I will, my thing, you know, when you think of stuff after the fact, I was oh, like, I will definitely, I'll light fireworks inside your house. If you guys fucking keep doing this, I'm going to throw, I'm going to bomb your house. That's what was yeah, going to like, be the, the new move. Up. I think that's what happened in Philly with the move, the move house. <laughs> they were setting off fireworks. The Philadelphia police were just like, all right. You guys want fireworks, huh? You guys want fireworks? Here's where you're going to drop a book bag of C4 off a helicopter and <laughs> blow up a house full of people. <laughs> yeah, dude. I, uh, so it's on right now. I walk past. I do recon every day. Well, just today. Walk past the house. Scope it. Wow. Them outside. Yeah, it's still on, bro. Damn, their quarantine on. sucks. Dude, first of all. They, they got quarantine and now they have a retarded guy, an autistic man in a sweatsuit. <laughs> walking past their house every day trying to kill one of them <laughs> <laughs> that sucks dude <laughs> they have like an autistic shark dude just circling the <laughs> just block. an autistic great white like possibly <laughs> in the area <laughs> yeah i circled it today and was looking around yeah. I, was like, I, I hope i i rec- i remember all of them so i'm like i can't wait to see him and be like a girl hey. that girl is like the mayor in jaws She's like, the fireworks are going to continue. <laughs> and the people are like, no, there's an autistic great white out here. Dude. He's yeah, coming. There was a dude outside when I was walking home. There was a guy who was like two doors down in his driveway just watching it all. And I walked, when I was walking home, he just like gave me a look and was like, fuck yeah. Good. I was He's like, like you me. handled your business, dude. Handle your biz. Ah, dude. Isn't that the worst? That fucking emotional, like when your voice starts to slightly crack while you're I was fired like, up like that. I couldn't even get my kid's age. I was like, I have a six month old five week uh you guys are fucking assholes you're fucking dude yeah. i was i was like about to cry i was so angry and i was so That's out of tough. breath and i was like genuinely stumped i was like i think this is the house i might be screaming at the wrong house and then i saw the guy look down i was like ah oh, you motherfucker i see it was yeah it was uh, that's a tough one yeah i stayed up for an extra couple hours so i didn't get any sleep last night i was up fucking rambo dude after you're fired chilling. up i was eating peanut butter rice cakes at the kitchen table i was like bae leave me alone that's the Bro. one thing dude that squashed everything bae immediately was like hell yeah dude Oh, nice. Bay supported your actions. Oh, big time. You were treated like a hero. Yeah, a hero's welcome, dude. I came home, three peanut butter rice cakes with bananas on them, some milk. What else, dude, what else do you need, dude? That's I just mean, a sweet treat from your baby at night. I mean, dude, she saw. She saw what was good. She saw, she saw her saw, warrior out there like, my fucking kid. She saw me like cry sprinting in the field, be like, in the fucking <laughs> Dude, I had, I had a... 
I had that battle I was telling you about on the drive here. Mm. What do you think of that? Ah, uh, yeah, man. That's that's, that's a quite tough the one. situation. All right, so I'll explain it. She's a nice lady. Okani's lady was with us. One of the turds women. She's got a new flame. She's got a nice flame going. And uh, the drive back, they were gonna they drop me off here in Mechanicsburg, and then kept going to Philly. Um, she sat shotgun, and they put me in the back. That's fucked up. What's the rules on this? So now, if they were like together for a long time, I think it. I don't yeah. know if they were married. It changes. Yeah, I mean, your right? bay should offer back. Your bay should take. Bay back. needs to not only not bays need to demand backseat. Exactly. That's just women's rules. It's hot, dude. That's hot to me. The I was, just, dude. I was thinking about it in the car while we were driving. I was like, damn, my ex used to, like, get, make you sit in the front. Yeah, I remember. It's a, it's a role. It's what the Bay needs. That's just a good hometown Central PA Bay, though. Yeah. Central PA girls know the rules. We got this uppity city chick sitting shotgun. I'm in the back? Yeah, I mean, just dude, just from a fucking, like, tactical perspective, you should be shotgun in case anything pops off. I need out. I need need to honor what it's named for. Exactly. You should honor. They should honor that. They should honor the American tradition of sitting shotgun. Well, what was the rental situation? The rental situation was a different car. That wasn't ours. So we drove up in the – that was Kyla, Sonia, and Beezer. Didn't you supply the house? I, oh, I bought – I paid for – yeah, everything. Uh, that's shotgun, bro. I mean, that's shotgun. that's shotgun. It was enough that O'Connor, O'Connor felt shame for his family, dude. It was very – Really? He felt, he felt dishonor? He felt this very dishonor beer for what he <laughs> And he offered me the keys to drive that's in front good, of her. That's a good out. That's, uh, that immediately yeah. puts her in the back. I mean, if if he, oh yeah, you know that's kind mean? of indirect though. If he had been like, "Yo, let me let me, you know, hop in no, the back," he, she would have loved it, dude. If he had relegated her to the back, he'd be like, "Yo, back seat's a little more roomier, babe. Help it go go stretch out back there." This is a new. I don't know. It's a tough one. This is a new relationship. That's this is that's like a, a. You gotta you gotta get her in the back there. I mean, dude. Now That's this a, this put me into a so this was this morning when we had to we had to pack and leave. Yeah. For some reason, Airbnbs you always have to leave at ten a.m. Kind of Hate this. Up. It's a ridiculous rule, but had to pack and all that stuff. So I was awake at nine a.m. I was not excited, Matt. That's too early. Oh man. I was a cranky man already. You're already having a tough time. Well, thankfully I planned ahead and only I went to bed at like two, totally sober. Had a nice okay. night. There you but, go. Um. Yeah, I I saw her put her book bag in a shotgun while we were like bringing stuff out to the car, and I for the next twenty minutes while packing, I was livid. Did you move it? Should have fucking put it in like, the back. Oh, I'll get this in the back for you. This guy, in, or you should, dude, that's yeah. a sick move of like. I, I it just took me back to like going to like the mountains and stuff with my family when you're packing, and like somebody just like five minutes left to pack and just hunkers down He's in the seat, seat on window like, seat what, the fuck? Oh, what are you, what are you, what are you yeah, doing we're dude. not done packing yet I was like shut up grab the bags that would have been the move if you had just been it like, was a good move I'll give her that she but it was a she claimed it and I you know I had to come to terms with <laughs> it was it was a real tormented I was it's confusing because a part of me is like I should I should be sitting there and then the other part of me was like you're an adult yeah. This isn't it's weird for you to be upset about who's sitting where. Where where did you end up so sitting? I was grappling at? with those two. I sat directly behind her and just fucking any kind of seat to give her any seat I pressure? need the fucking dude, are you did kidding you? me? <laughs> it was like it was it was like when someone reclines on a train or an airplane. I was fucking the whole time I was like ah, acting like it hurt my knees. <laughs> You usually gave her like a double head, just a double energizer, just like <laughs> right to her temples. Dude. Hit her with the Frankenstein charge, dude. Yeah, like, <laughs> just like a mafia hitman from behind, just fucking. <laughs> yeah, I was uh... a double donkey. Dude, just like... <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that would be fucking. If I'd like actually double slapped the sides of her ears, oh. <laughs> if I slapped, if I fucking punched her ears. <laughs> And just spaz. I was just like, you don't fucking sit in the front. <laughs> Stop the car. Let me out. They called Dude. him half an hour later. Like, you guys, come get me. This I, is ridiculous. I don't know, though. I think I'm right on this. I mean, it's a. 
that's a tough. I mean, again, I think the only thing you can do, only thing O'Connor can do, is feel ashamed, just shame in that. He Not did ashamed. He looked, it's just kind of like, damn, this is wrong. This he is wrong. saw me see her put her book bag in the front seat and heard me laugh, <laughs> and he was like, "Fuck, fuck, <laughs> I'd be bugging. I hate. I'd hate to be in that position." That's a tough one, cause and she's you know she's nice and smart enough. Like if you were like sit in the back, she'd be like, "What are you fucking twelve? I mean, like, are you? What she'd are be you like, 11? "Are you sexist? I'm like, what are you eleven? Like, come on, get in the back." She'd hit you with the sexism. Yeah, I'd be like, yeah, I am. Get in the and back. This is one of the last true American sexisms we are allowed to still have. Women sit in the back when there's men. <laughs> <laughs> That's just how it goes, dude. I mean, I just she think... Rosa Parks me. She Rosa Parks me hard. Really? Yeah, she sat in the front. I was in the back. I was like, I should be up there. <laughs> That's true. I was like, you need to get up. <laughs> this Wait, is a... Who's Rosa? I'm, I'm trying to decipher who's Rosa Parks in this scenario right now. She's Rosa Parks. She sat oh, in the saying, front. I thought you were saying you were. No, I was an angry white. You're an angry white. I was, was an like... angry white down there. Just like, what's she fucking doing up there? <laughs> this is defying societal roles. Oh, my God. But... Yeah, so that was all day. That was, and then you know, O'Connor's car is a piece of shit that has no, like the the audio is destroyed. You can only listen to the radio. How's uh, Bay? How'd Bay deal with that? She had some questions early on about the sound system. Oh, it's gonna be yeah. fixed, bro. That's gonna be in the. It's in the shop True. right now. It's in the shop as we speak, dude. No, but she's a good Bay. I don't. I, I don't want to shit on her here, but that was. Uh, of course not, dude. But you know what I mean. That's something we got to nip tough in the call. bud. That's a tough call. I mean, all you I'm can do is. Need the seat the whole time, making the most uncomfortable ride. I need the seat for the first for longer than I should have. Did you for really? a while, and then yeah. I realized I don't think it was doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> My you, knee actually started to hurt. <laughs> you were giving her knee to the seat. Yes, I was doing that. Did she say anything? Didn't say a word. <laughs> Dude, it was a. She, there's no way she even knew that there was a battle going on, but there was a <laughs> wild battle. I was fucking furious, dude. Oh, my God. And then I spent – probably we spent a good, like, 45 minutes of me talking about how sick Trump was and both of them. So you're doing a psyop, dude. You're doing a full I was psyop. Going, I was getting after whatever I could to try to fight <laughs> <laughs> front, the people in the front. <laughs> Ow. I poked my eye. <laughs> yeah, dude. I was back there like, yeah, because I was just. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just thinking of like the last knee to the back and be like, ah, shit, and sitting and being like, I think Trump's handle of coronavirus pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> just that one minute break of like, all right. What's next? <laughs> <laughs> it's a jukebox well, of horrible stuff. I was texting uh, Mullen, and oh, Mullen God. was giving me the rundown. And I was like, yo, I'm fighting with fucking gay-ass liberal people. Tell me what to say. Because he's he knows what to say. Yeah. I, I'm an idiot. I can't back it up. O'Connor, O'Connor's tough to debate in this because he follows it, but he only follows, like, extremely Democrat news. Like, he's <laughs> very, like – I'm like, what did Trump do that's bad? He's like, he fired the, you know, the pandemic response team that we need and i was yeah. like we need it but oh it started under obama yeah. how do we make it how did we do it as a country how do we get the whole way to obama without a pandemic response team also, that we're paying I mean, to just fucking sit there maybe i'm paranoid it seems strange that you know all of a sudden there's this pandemic response team started last election it, i was trying to google uh like because it's every four years. Is there like some sort of catastrophe that happens right before? They, dude, the fact that this is there's right one every before, year. There's one every year. It happens okay. every year. It's really like this is like for this to happen right now. Not there's obviously not there's there's nothing this big every year, but there is. You could every year, every two three years, there's like a so swine flu, avian flu. Yeah. Just, just you know, SARS, MERS, SARS. Yeah. SARS, election. not SARS. <laughs> SARS not SARS, dude. <laughs> SARS. I mean, SARS. What are they gonna do when it comes out to the fact that uh, COVID, China. They, they, it's China. China. Oh, dude, that was so. It is China. Fun. <laughs> what are they gonna do when they don't get the numbers they wanted? When they don't get the fatalities they needed to be right. Yeah. The left will. Now this is Mullen put this in my head today, so I'm. It, it is correct. Yeah. If he says something like about politics or something like that's totally true. He's learned. I think he he's he's an autistic great white as well, dude. Dude, dude he's been he's circling the around. <laughs> he's circles. Dude. Uh yeah, he was just he was just, you know, 
like because they they said i guess the projections the death projections are getting lowered to like sixty thousand total or like by august which is when it's supposed to be kind of winding down and it's like those numbers are flu that's flu numbers four right? four times lower than what everybody was freaking out and projecting even with social distancing so basically what the left will do is pretend that this shit didn't have like the reason that it we only had low numbers was because of them if yeah. if they wouldn't have stepped in and helped trump would have killed a million people so if it wasn't for people being like um so we gotta wear masks and we gotta uh, if it wasn't for up speak we all would be dead <laughs> yeah if it wasn't for condescending cocksuckers <laughs> Who else saves the day other than condescending pussies? That's all we are now. Yeah, that's true. Well, that's – dude, I'm telling you, man. We hit – so we're projected to hit flu numbers. And they're going to be like, well, it's because yeah. we stayed inside. Otherwise, it's because we did what that. we did. It's like, no, dude, that's – We all went S- food shopping. Sweden. Look at Sweden. Yeah, what's up with that? Sweden. They just didn't do shit. They're like, look, we trust our citizens to, like, use precaution. Just – they kept bars open. They kept everything open. And they're fine. And they're doing just as good as anybody else. I mean, there's no real difference. I think I said this before. Imagine being in another country and we're like, people are banded together over like everyone who's already kind of jacked up getting sick and dying. It's like, yeah, dude. Yeah. It's like, this is killing our 85 year olds with stage four cancer. And it's like, other countries are like, well, you have 85 year olds. (laughs) What? (laughs) We have 80. five-year-olds <laughs> yeah i just don't uh That's and again not, if you that was that, you me, that was fine didn't even make any sense <laughs> <laughs> dude and then uh well you could say they're killing 85 year olds <laughs> there we go the um yeah and then it's like if you are if you show the symptoms and you're not like super old they don't they're, they tell you like no 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 we, we don't we don't want yeah. we don't need to test you it's like, what gives? I don't know, man. I, I'm I just glad today's the first day I've felt like, all right, this thing's gay and it's over. Yeah. And they're like, this is going to be the worst week. It's like, bro, I'm at my mommy and daddy's eating steak. Is and this potatoes. bad? And you potatoes. tell me if this is bad because right now COVID's treating me pretty well. Yeah, dude. It's hurting your you pox. You know what I mean? It's hurting our pox. It's, it's not hurting my pox. pox. True. Well, the stand up. Stand up is hurting a lot, but yeah, you know, that's most of my that's a good chunk of my revenue there. <laughs> but whatever. But yeah, man, it's uh some bullshit, dude. I think in I'd say not four, eight years from now, two elections from now, after Trump, maybe two elections after Trump. I think oh, Trump will do second term. Oh well, yeah, I mean the Trump dynasty. I think yeah. there is going to be a party like a almost like a tea party that is going to actively platform on wrangling pedophiles uh adrenochrome there's going to be like a, a yeah that's like going to be a political party the q and on people are going to grow up yeah i, I do yeah. think we're, that's going to be like a real political force coming up of like the deep state that's that's not going to go away that's the future of the republican party of like battling the deep state which is pretty tight yeah, that's a tough party for me to decline and say no to because that's a sick political party. I'm joining that political party. 100%, dude. As soon as that's released, that they're like, we're just, our main goal is to round up pedophiles and, uh, <laughs> you know, make sure corporations don't control our personal data. I mean, dude, 5G I watched, towers, we got to get rid of those. They spent, they sent a documentary around. You see a documentary went around the group chat of the, uh, no, I didn't man, get to watch it. Stuntman who went rogue and started investigating all the freaks in Hollywood. It was no. pretty good. It's pretty good. They they go into how like Disney used to do like Disney did straight up war propaganda. And the, the question is, is like, you think they stopped? When do you think they stopped doing that? And why? And it's like, I don't think they did, dude. It's like, if you, the what do you military, mean? so, so Disney would, they have like things from the forties of Disney doing like, you know, yeah. I think it was like taxes destroy the axes, the axes power or whatever. So they were doing things like there was entertainment that was specifically supposed to rile people up for civic causes. And it's like, the question is, is like, has that ever stopped? I don't think it has. But then when people get weird about the conspiracy stuff, it's like, what, right, are, the, so what are the things that they have done since? That uh, would be- I think like the black, like the timing of like Black Hawk Down movies, stuff like that. Of like when it's time to rally the troops, it's like all of a sudden there's these, you know, and I, 
I think that's the case. I think that does happen. I think there's probably people. I don't, yeah, I don't even think that's a conspiracy. That's well, just no. like, hey, I think we can make some money. There's a lot of patriotism right now after, you know, fucking 9-11. Let's, let's put out Flight 93. Well, it's not even – the conspiracy is that there's people other than purely profit-driven – filmmakers who get to say who get the green light what like who get to say like you know slide a script down like say there's somebody in the cia who gets to talk to like a harvey weinstein who's probably compromised and be like yo we need this one wait you think the cia is in cahoots with the tightwads yes so to speak in a fit in so many words yes in terms of i i do believe that it's like they they could be like yo we need this this movie to come out now but the uh and again that's my opinion dude we need Nicolas Cage to be in 9-11. <laughs> Do it. We need Nicolas Cage to find the stuff at the Liberty Bell. Get it done. Yes. But the, uh, this, is, this is my, with the conspiracy stuff, it's like, so we get to rule the world on overt strength and military force, which at the end of the day, you need to kill people in order to rule. So the people who are the best at killing for some reason, people don't think they would like manipulate minds and propagandize. It doesn't make sense to me. By that, it's like a, one thing yeah. you accept that will totally go and devastate a country for oil, but we're not going to lie and propagandize. I don't even think it's, I don't even know if it's lying. I think it's just 100% what is, I don't even think that's a conspiracy, dude. I think that's I mean, just what, I don't think, think there's yeah. anything conspiratorial about that. I think it's just like, it's, that's what I'm saying. It's not, but if you, if you're, you know, if you were to take, let's say O'Connor's, he'd be like, nah, dude, we're in a total democracy. We vote, we have the Senate and the Senate has the house and the house vetoes the things and sends them back. And if everybody agrees, it's like, yeah, the fuck out. No, they don't, Chris dude. is a, cause Chris is a punk ass dude. <laughs> that's what I'm He's saying. Fucking dude. Mark ass bitch, dude. He doesn't understand. Dude, we're ruled by people. Whoever has the best killing stuff rules wins everything. Yes. So yes. when, when you say like all these, the people who, kill to maintain power you don't think they lie and steal and do what like the other ones too like what the fuck it's crazy the crazy yeah. to be like no they they vote and my vote matter it's like okay dude i'm sure it fucking does yeah you think you control tanks with your little button pushing dude you want to get the fuck out of here please come on, come on bro come grow on. up grow the fuck up grow up dude grow the this fuck. dude everyone america right, america's just a business bro it's not I'm, this beautiful democracy. It's a fucking corporation, bro. This is America. This is just a business, dude. I'm camo pilled. Keep dude. that in mind. Whew. I watched. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I watched uh, "Killing Him Softly" last night, and that's how it ends. What? Brad Pitt giving a speech about fuck Thomas Jefferson. America is just a business. I'm here to get mine. What was TJ saying? It wasn't. No, he was like, Thomas Jefferson was a fraud. <laughs> He's a fraud. Like he wrote all these really beautiful words that men went and died for, and then he went back and fucked his slave wife. He's a fucking liar, dude. All men are created equal. Please, America's yeah. a business, dude. That's what Brad said. That's what Brad Pitt said. Oh, then, dude, obviously. In the movie, <laughs> Brad Pitt fucking rules, dude. I support Pitt. Yeah, that's true. I believe if anything. Pitt, Pitt, I believe. Only thing that would make me like him more is if he joined the incredible tandem of, you know, Vince Vaughn and Mel Gibson. Dude, Vince it's like Vaughn outright, Gibson. Vince Vaughn and Mel Gibson rule so hard, dude. I mean, do you think it's ever possible that the people are going to switch their opinion on, uh, like, it's gonna, you think four years from now, Hollywood will make yeah, Trump rules? No. Yeah, Never. Yeah, they, well, I don't no, yeah, they're, they're purely in the Democrat. They're Democrats. True. They, like, are a part of the political party. It's yeah. like their strongest weapon. It's, celebra- it's just like celebrities. It's That's cool funny, celebrities. Dude. I was thinking about this recently too, how even like the, you know, even if you take away like the, you know, Operation Mockingbird and all that stuff, what I really think Hollywood is, is just sponsored by like Tide and Downey, where it's like, they just are like, all right, come on. Yeah, NASCAR. Keep moving. Keep Each yeah, one of those keep... celebrities is NASCAR. <laughs> yeah. They might as well start wearing those sponsors. It's just to keep our eyes on like a Like Tom Hanks would just have a giant Clinton Foundation thing across the back of his suit. <laughs> <laughs> Next time he's on the red carpet. <laughs> Well, it is funny how Saudi they, oil sponsors like <laughs> China. Zoe de Chanel. <laughs> China sponsors. Did you get into China. the the uh, WHO, like the World Health Organization, yeah. and how like they're like now calling for people's heads? Just China, because they were just like the head of it was just kind of like yeah. I don't know, dude. China. I, I mean, I, I, China. China kind of rules. Like, someone, shut up, dude. Someone was kind of. <laughs> some of them are like, hey, I mean, China. Uh, it was, yeah. They, WHO was like, you know who sucks? Taiwan. 
You know who rules? China. <laughs> like, who's dumb enough to send out that propaganda? <laughs> oh, China. <laughs> who's dumb enough to pay someone to be that transparent? Oh, my God. That is it is kind of funny that China just blatantly is like, yeah, we don't have it anymore. And uh, World Health Organization says we're right. So, Well, that's weird, too. I wonder me. how that happened in one week. Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> we, we went from being in the news cycle to be like, the news cycle was like, he's calling it the Chinese virus or Chinese whatever. Oh, he's racist. This is bullshit. And now the New York Times is like, China has to pay. <laughs> so i'm like what the fuck what you guys yeah. they're, they're now all fucking like yo fuck china on this stuff right now or yo, before they're do you see anything being the, asshole china's like bad dude been asshole bro china well of course china's been asshole yeah Ever since, dude, this should have been it was the commies the commies got them dude it should have been on our dicks after world war ii yeah the comedy yeah, they the went comedy full commie, dude. went around china they went around yeah china damn dude i mean that's it's just so funny thinking about our enemies, dude. And it's like, guys, we're trying to fucking show you the light, man. Bro. We're trying to show you the path, and you guys just insist on supporting total- totalitarianism, dude. I can't I even say it. I'm so fucking patriotic. I hate saying it. I can I only say spell. democracy, dude. I, can totali- only say I can't even say Yeah, I can't even fucking say it, dude. Yeah, the, uh, it was a funny one. Uh, uh, I'll get into it. Fuck it. Uh, one of the former friend of mine i guess he talked shit on me during the snl thing didn't even know he did that but uh recently found out when we had a chat he was one of the people who was like i need to prove to him that i'm not a sexist racist homophobic person mm-hmm. and he's like sit down and have a conversation with him about that he had a, yeah he had to uh, bet you which is bad shit uh he also he he recently reached out to criticize me for making fun of a uh, former comic for begging on twitter for money Mm-hmm. didn't name that guy whatever yeah. i'm not gonna you know there's a reason i didn't name him because i don't want people being actually mean to him the asset to him. but i don't want people being china to him bro if and you were begging right now on social media you don't think your post would be like blazoned across social media with all them like yeah i'm looking at him now yeah it would be insane it's but also like in the the discussion me and that guy had ye two days ago or three days ago however long was about like I was like, yeah, maybe it isn't, you know, the nicest thing for me to do. Maybe it's kind of bad, but like, you know, I didn't name him and uh, I don't know. I think he named me. <laughs> like, yeah. I think all of them gave quotes to the press that I was a bad person. Yeah. And like, I'm supposed to take the high road on this one to be like, not be like, ah, one of them's begging. <laughs> like and i'm a bad guy and then he was like well morally i think they might have you know had something there yours was more just mean spirited i was like you understand how morality works right like i think mine was right and theirs was wrong that's how yeah. it changes between people he's like <laughs> damn you hit him with some thomas aquini dude he didn't, oh, he didn't know was what like, it was. you gotta understand how things work bud who grow up that's funny how he's like, yeah, but you're bad and they're good. Yeah, Don't he's you like, understand? Well, theirs, theirs was just pointing out how you were a bad person. You were just lying about calling him a bad person. Like, yeah. I don't think you understand how this works. Dude, that's pretty funny. But. Hey, man. I don't they, know. That's what they chose. It's what they chose. Red pill, blue pill, dude. They swallowed the, they swallowed they the wrong swallowed one. It. They swallowed mommy and daddy's, you know. Like, mommy and daddy, please help. Although I am about to eat steak at my parents' house. <laughs> so what? It's a victory. That's a victory circle, dude. This is a victory. Yeah, this is a victory steak with my mommy and daddy. That's Hal Gillis coming by to, they see his son. I am going to get a chalice, dude. We're, but me and my dad are going to have chalices of Franzia, dude. Yeah, they're slaughtering the fattest calf. They've seen you out here working, the dude. The prodigal not, son has returned. Yeah, bro. You're not out here on the neat bucks being like, mommy, daddy, my skits aren't working in <laughs> <laughs> no, Matt, no, dude. We take the high road, dude. They go low. We go high. I was, I was telling Andrew about the fireworks. He was like, yeah, dude, that's what happens when all the fucking waiters get laid off. They're like, what would be cool? Let's go out fuck Let's Andy. have a fucking spunky night, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Yo, I, I this, was chasing waiters around. I forgot about this because I was obviously, I was, I was grinding. That grinded my gears, that conversation. And then, uh, by the way, the kid who reached out, love that kid. Sweetheart. He's just, you know, he's a misguided boy. Lost. But, um. One of the there was one dude who said that I was like being creepy to women in the scene. I think the same guy who gave the DOS, dude. I think he was the kid who slid the DOS on me from the improv creep? theater. Said you're a creeper. Yeah, he said he was like I know people that called him creepy, and it was like, 
dude, what are you doing? Like he posted that. And then I was like, Oh, I know who it was. Do you remember that one girl who lied and or like hid a hit a live stream and fucked her boyfriend on it? No. You don't remember that? No. Someone yeah. someone snuck a like like forced yeah. somebody and then she to was, porn you against know, her will. Yeah, I mean it's illegal what she did and it's a sexual crime, but she was welcomed with open arms at that uh <laughs> once open comedy club. Anyway. Yeah, man, that's what fucking, up, what up, what up. I mean the hypocrisy is unbelievable, dude. Projections are ultimate weapons, dude. You know how it works. No, I did a Chinese accent on stage, so yeah. You know, sex I'm pretty crimes, bad. sex crimes, Chinese eyes, <laughs> the same thing. Dude. All right. Sorry. I got I got heated there. No, I, mean, up. Oh, I shouldn't got, be on the people, air. People gotta know. People gotta know. It's like this is this is post COVID society, dude. We you know we've yeah. been nice. We've been nice. We were holding back a little. Time. The truth needs to come out. And Be- Beezer was like, Oh yeah, that, that girl was like a actual like and then she falsely accused a couple of people of rape. It's like, dude, girl is a monster. Yeah, that's that's wicked, wicked behavior. Yeah. Anyway, that's hey, all allegedly. I don't know if any of that's true. Well, whatever. At least you, at least you will put the alleged on it, bro. See, no names, pure alleged. That's all. Yep. God damn, man. I mean, that's how we do it. Why, why? Why? I will say this: I've never set out to make enemies, dude. I've just tried to be me, dude. It's all I've tried to do. Yeah, I don't me know why either. people are stopping me. People just don't want me to be me, and that's that's the most evil thing you can do. Come on, man. You're Come exactly on, man. right. I was. I just want to be me. I want to be. I was just friend. nice to everybody. Yeah, you were. Yeah, you know, I might have got. You know, every once in a while, I might have got drunk and told people you can't do stand up. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. That was the meanest I got. I'd get drunk and be like, "You should go home." Fair enough, dude. Anyway, dude, I. Uh... Sorry, I'm harping on that. You don't got to be sorry. That was just a pretty wild fucking, like, yeah, but they were morally correct. Yours was just me. It's like, dude, what do you, is it morally correct to publicly say I'm a bad person? Yeah, dude. Like, what? I mean, again, people do have to know there's, there, there's a good faction of people who are just, I mean, again, I, dude, I'll hear anybody out here, they're signing, like, okay, you know, again, like you're saying, like, all right, that's your thing. I'm living a whole other life here with a whole other backstory, a whole other set of eyes, a whole other brain, whole other heart. You don't yeah. think my shit shit appears a little different to me or I'm out here being pure evil? Who does that, dude? Who splits yeah. the world like that into pure evil and pure bad or pure good and pure evil? Children, bro. Come on. Come yeah. on. Children and, you know, totalitarianists. I, yeah, you said it. I can't. I can't even. Authoritarianists. <laughs> dude, I, um, yeah, <laughs> fuck that shit. I, um, started, I, so I have another audio book I started, um, dude might be the best thing i've ever ever fucking put my eyes on it's called the shallows yeah but it's about i th- i think it's about it what i thought it was when i downloaded it they haven't even talked about it yet how the internet's changing our brain and how like you know computers are changing our brain and they go all the way back i think i told you uh before about when they went back to like uh like clocks and shit when like clocks got invented and all that yeah stuff. Yeah, yeah so like how there was just like wasn't time really and all of a sudden there people were like they would just ding bells and make it come on come on you guys keep it moving what the fuck yeah. and how so that was like a, a technology that came like a clock came out and people were like fuck man now i gotta be at this place like and then yeah, yeah, if yeah. you were late that was a crime against god because it was the christian monks were the ones who started clocks so it was like or they yeah, like who made like i guess who like organized society around them more or whatever like mechanical yeah. clocks uh, so that was why, like, if you're late and people scowl at you, back then you were being a scalawag, dude. It was like, dude, you're, sin- you're sinning right now. Oh. God gave us time, and you're not honoring it, which is just a funny life arranger. So they go through. Yeah, that rules. Pretty tight. They go through all of that, uh, and then they get to books, which is the, uh, writing and books, and it's the funniest fucking thing. Because they talk about ancient Greece. And so, you know, back, you know, like the oral tradition was like, no one wrote anything. It was just like, whatever, as much stuff as you can store in your head, that's how sick you were. So I was like, if you could just memorize a ton of shit, you were the man. That was all you yeah. could, you could hope to do. And then people started writing stuff down and like, they were just like, uh, I think Socrates was just like, so fucking lame, dude. I can talk for like six hours, dude. Why would I yeah. write anything? It's like how I feel about Tinder. <laughs> yeah. it's like, Oh, you're funny in text, please. <laughs> That's how it was. You're charming through gifts. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. That's how it was with, with writing itself. It was, it was Plato yeah. was like Socrates pupil was like, I don't know. Socrates writing's pretty fucking sick, dude. I can like record these th- thoughts that I forget and I can like look at them again. And he was like, pish posh, dude. I'll never write anything. Um, 
<laughs> so they they went into like I support no, that dude. Fuck writing. Right, dude. Hundred percent support the who was who was it? Socrates, you said. Yeah, Socrates, dude. He was yeah. just like this is, and it was like it was kind of like pissed people off because like right again, writing was something that changed the way our brains work because it was like there was no like the idea of interacting with another person's thoughts like that was just, nobody did it. Everyone would just yeah. be like, here's all the shit you memorize. Everyone's the same. Cool. I'm glad we're on this. Oh, you can't remember stuff. You're fucking dumb. You go farm. I get to sit in, outside in like a toga and just all day just be like, and then blah, blah, blah. So then they started doing a, like writing on paper and like books. And they had, at, at first they had, you know, people would just pick up like we do now. It was like the first writing was just like, you find like a broken piece of a clay pot and you would just like, like, all right, I have nine goats and you would like store that somewhere. That was yes. like the first writing. And then they started doing, I think, papyrus scrolls where it would be like you would you'd take like the uh, the vine or the, the thread of papyrus, whatever the fuck it is. Yeah, in Egypt. Yeah, yeah, right near the Nile. You're right. And you'd heat press it like a rosin press, basically. And that would give yeah. you the original uh, scrolls. And then, you know, so that all you could have was the fucking long scrolls. And then they did uh, wax tablets for like the codex where you would – have a wax thing you would scratch stuff in and then you flip it over so that was the first book was just like yeah wax tablets was that best, gutenberg no not either. this was this is pre-gutenberg it's pre-press it's a pre-print press dude when when okay. writing first came out it was in a wax tablet and there was no space between the words so it was just like it was just a block of text that nobody read everybody read aloud so yeah. you would get a book and just be like by yourself, like once upon a time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so they had a, uh, so then, yes, yeah, so that, that's how, and then, so everything was like block text where you'd have to sit there and try to like decipher what the fuck it said. And then eventually they started spacing the words and doing all this yeah, stuff. But it like was like that. Thomas Aquinas saw a guy reading silently and was just like, what's this guy's fucking problem? What a weirdo. Yeah. I thought it was pretty fucking crazy, man. Yeah, I mean, it's also funny to see people figure out how to spell. Like, even if you look at shit from 100 years ago, <laughs> well, more than that, but, like, <laughs> if you look at, like, Civil War, like, anything from back then, people, people were still guessing words. Oh, it was all phonetics. 100%. Dude. It was just, like, the Dude, the imagine sounds. no autocorrect and you have a fucking stone tablet you got to write something into. Dude. Just, it's, it's over. Be like carving like ooh at the uh, and yeah, you just yeah. read it out loud and like what the fuck is it saying? That was cracking me up, dude. People sitting and reading books out loud to themselves in their apartment, and only like the, it would be like the only the sickest dudes could read. So just yeah. be a guy just be like and then and there one guy had a cat. <laughs> like, Whoa, that's wild, man. But yeah, yeah that's I that mean that always makes me feel better about like uh you know being a uh, a luddite if you mm -hmm. will, like people that are like, like the internet's fucking ruining us. It's like, well, that has literally has happened with every single change technologically, every technological advance in human history. People have been upset about Yeah, like, well, this is going to ruin it. <laughs> no, that that's <laughs> it yeah. almost always helps. Well, here's, here's my beef with the internet. And it's like, yeah, writing was a sick change. And it was like the, even reading changed the way. That's why I think we have to memorize shit in, like in grade school. I think that the oral tradition stuck with our grade school. That's why we were like, we we're forced to memorize all this bullshit. It's fucking dumb. But anyway, yeah. who that? You want to be Phil? Big Phil? No, throw what you want. There he is, dude. Big Phil? <laughs> God damn, you look good. He says, I can't hear him. He can't I heard hear you. you. You look good. Tell me he looks oh, good. Yeah. You say something nice to the people. Just anything. Happy Easter to everyone, and good luck getting through the uh, coronavirus. During these challenging times, we'll only be stronger when we're done. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, looking for my beer. Looking for your beer? It's not in here. Okay. You might have infected him, bro. He might have just, yeah, you might have just died, but that was a good last message. <laughs> you might have just got the COVID, little COVID for Philly. <laughs> little COVID for Philly. Get the fuck out of here. Don't die in that goddamn sweat. <laughs> okay, beat it. He said, I'm going to die dressed like Oprah <laughs> in my tracksuit. <laughs> oh, my God. He's, dude, he loves it. He loves getting on that camera. Oh, dude. See how happy he was? He, dude, he lit up immediately. <laughs> that Turner GMC hat. Thing was it's like a, dude, he's, he's still got the fucking little kid 90s camera, camera shy. 
when you you know what i mean when you were like a little kid and they'd throw a camera in your face you'd be like what? hi uh <laughs> hello <laughs> when are you going to get him a mega hat dude he's dying for one no you have a mega hat do you have a trump hat <laughs> he has one <laughs> <laughs> all right beat it i know what you're doing <laughs> he's double fist get out of here <laughs> he's partying bro <laughs> he's cracking miller lights <laughs> he has one of the usa ones that's what's up He's got with the presidential USA with the four or five on the side. Of a mil- oh, oh, of the of the just a big block USA. Trump hat? Yeah, God it's a sick hat. It's pretty tight. Um, sorry yeah, about man. that. No, that's, dude, that was uh, yeah. So that that's what the book's about. How it changed our brains in order to be able to sit down and like focus on a text. It was like our brains were designed to like see like a fly and be like, what the fuck's that? And look around. And yeah. It, you know, it, it, it was not for a bad way, but it rewired our brains to just like sit and stare at a certain thing. The computer, where the computers are weird, is that it's rewiring our brains around addictive technology, which is like in like very overtly addictive technology with like Facebook, Instagram. We're being we're rewiring our brains around like almost like we're playing slot machines twenty four seven. Dude, if I don't have my phone, like I've been making an effort to stop. I do it all the time. I make an effort to stop looking. I start feeling bad, dude, and I can't check the fucking stuff. I start, I can't scroll. I'm just really. Like, yeah, dude, it, it has its hooks in me, man. It's no. I'm sure. And it's me too, everybody, man. Everybody's doing it all at the same time, so nobody. My notices. phone, my phone died this morning. I went. That was another thing that added to the front seat dilemma. I was no phone. Oh. I was just a four and a half hour drive, no phone. I was. It was war mode. How'd you feel? Absolute war. Oh. There's nothing I could do. I couldn't look at hot girls. You should ask the bar. Can I look at pretty phone? girls? Yeah. Can I use your phone and log into Instagram? Just surf, <laughs> surf Instagram. <laughs> Tony, no, man, the it is, it is for sure. It's it definitely I mean, has its drawbacks. But imagine when you're—I have a baby right now, and I'll catch myself like I'll have my baby. I'm like, hey, la, 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 and I'm like, I'll, my hand will start creeping from my phone. I just want to be like, and this dude, I'll be like, it's literally yeah. I have to choose. I'm like, either I give my baby the facial like feedback that it needs right now, or I'm like, Ugh, into my phone. It's it's a real. Hey, I just thought of this because you said you're gonna give your baby a facial. You. Gotta- <laughs> <laughs> every time it just evolved in a karate th- and then i no no dude i'd fucking come over like that <laughs> you got you better be wearing boxers if you're having fucking jizz dreams if you, I, uh, I, your I, baby's, if you take a nap with that baby you better you can't nap you, you'll crush it the, the hazards are crushing it Oh, like the fucking uh, what's the guy from the movie Porky's? I, don't know. I haven't seen it since I was a young boy. He wears he's, he wears a condom to a date. I was a he, young uh, warthog at a lake with my friends, and we rented Porky's so we could see the shower scene. Yep, tale as old as time. Yeah, you can't sleep with a baby in a bed because you'll roll over and crush them. Dude, I actually got into my. I had to make a genogram for my family therapy class, so I had to go through my mom's side of the family, my dad's side of the family. Nice. A lot of kids dying, dude. A lot of dead kids. <laughs> what? Why? Like on, on like my gr- like my grandfather's family. All right. Both so sides. going back then, yeah, that's a lot of dead kids. Yeah, but I'm talking. Like, I'm not talking just like just like some polio, dude. I'm talking, talking like the '80s. <laughs> no, no, no. no I'm, I'm 1983. Back then, I'm no. I'm talking back in the uh, you know in the day in like 1950 yeah. and stuff. But I'm talking like one of my. So there was on my mom's side. My like mom's mom had a brother, oldest brother was Thomas, died at like one years old. They had another kid right after him, named him Thomas. They did a Thomas 2.0, which nice. is so fucking funny. And then there was my, one of my great whatever relatives at 18 months just slipped out of his mother's arms and fell into the Schuylkill and died. Pretty fucking gritty. Another one fell off like a wagon. Wait, 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 wait. What was this accident? This accident? Yeah, dude, it was like my mom. No, my baby accidentally fell into the river. Popped out of her arms, bro. Schuylkill was anyway. probably raging, dude. Schuylkill was raging. That's, I was like, Brittany was Wait, like, the baby fell into the water? Baby fell in the water, dude, in Schuylkill. The baby fell into the water in the Schuylkill? 18 months, dude. She could, it, shaped, it shaped my family's psychology, dude. It was like dude, my great-grandmother. Who did this? Who I had postpartum depression my, and just threw? I think it was my great-grandmother. Your great grandma was a murderer and three. Great grandmother on the first side. My great grandmother was a snail. My great grandmother on my 
dad's mom's side. So my, my grandmother's grandmother was married to a guy, and then one of their two children fell into the skewkle and died. And oh, then it obviously, a, it was a baby that fell? 18 months. I call out, murder. Slipped. I'm calling murder. He jumped, bro. He was 18 months. He sprung up. <laughs> the skookle was probably flying that day. He was gone. Washed down. He was done. And that's one you can jump in after right away. That's what I thought. I, Brittany's like, they jump a in after him? decent chance. Ah, baby sink, bro. Yeah, this was a murder. It's the bottom. You come from a line of murderers and thieves. Of infanticides, dude. We would never do something like that in the Gillis Kilkenny. <laughs> the Gillis Kilkenny lineage. Dude, it was horrible, dude. It was like I was going through How all this How come you're stuff. not acknowledging this definite murder? It was an accident, dude. My great great grand. Yeah, but dude. why aren't you admitting that it's probably a murder if it was a you eighteen month old that they, ended up in the river? Sunday boat stroll, dude. She can't. She didn't just dump him. It was the <laughs> they were on the boat. She was just like, oh. oh. The baby sprung. Well, the, the baby went. Whoop. Dude, I would jump in after my cell phone. I mean, yeah. That lady so- left to fucking. It sunk, dude. The skookle flies. You ever go in the skookle? I've seen the skook. Skookle it does moves, fly. I agree, dude. But a lot of people die in the skookle every year, actually. Usually from murder. <laughs> Usually from some form of murder. Yeah, man. There was that. There was, I think, someone fell off a wagon or some shit and died way back when on the other side. There was a, I was like, damn, dude. Yeah. The OG McCusker slash Kearney lineage is butt fucked with like yeah. child death. Of like, not even just like sick, of like accidental. I was like, dude, that's fucked. Mm. Falling out just. Boating, because they were like, oh, one kid died in a boating accident. I was like, what happened? Because I got all this info off my hand. I'm like, what happened? They're like, 18 months. I think it's like slipped out, popped out of the arms, washed up. I'm and like, then South Fumble. <laughs> <laughs> fumble? That was a Fumble Ruski, bro. That was a Nate Newton, dude. She was running towards the end zone. That's a Fumble Ruski. And God popped her out. Yeah. I saw pictures of this lady, too. She looked like she was like she harboring. Yeah, she looked fucking pissed. You better not say her name, dude. She might haunt you. I'm not, I might get home. There's a lot of family curses that are built on stuff like this, dude. I thought about that before I started. I'm like, I'm going to get haunted for this. But again, well, it's dude. like, put it, I'm putting it out there. Put it out there, dude. It's like. Dude, that, that lady's going to come, dude. You're going to have to fight her. Family's hex, dude. That's, a he, that's hex stuff. What type of bitch do you think put this on your fam? I don't know. Probably someone back in the old country, dude. Back when we were kings of Northern Ireland. You would be Northern Ireland, you fucking prot, dude. Not a prop, bro. We we fled. We were Catholics. We had fled. We fled to uh, Munster. My family was kings, dude, up there, and they had to flee to Munster because your were, family, dude, kills babies. On boats. It was a fucking accident, dude. <laughs> Jesus, man. My, they're gonna haunt you. I'll fuck them up, dude. I'm claiming I'm not accident. a baby, dude. They might try to toss me into the skook. Though. They might toss you into the skook. <laughs> I'd dude. sink like a stone. <laughs> <laughs> like Jack from Titanic, dude. I'd go straight to the bottom. Brittany did ask. That was a fair question. She's like, didn't they jump in after it? And I was like, I don't know. No, you got. And have it. life jackets, dude. I, I, <laughs> They're not gonna get wet. That thing probably went fucking straight to the bottom. Eighteen month old. They're like all bones and fat. That, that thing would just be like right to the bottom. I don't know what to tell you, man. I know you're defending your family's honor, but could have been adrenochrome. Might have sold it to like Herbert Hoover. He might have munched. True. Herbert Hoove might have. Hoove's FBI might have munched on one of my kin, dude. What a <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> Hoover's, uh, yeah. <laughs> Herbert or J. Edgar? Who you chat? I'm talking J. Edgar. Excuse me. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Her- Herbert's good man. Herbert was a good dude. He would never munch. I'm talking J. Ed. Babes. J. Yeah, J. Edgar was. Jed Hoover. All right, where are we at? Oh, we're good. We're, 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 <laughs> it's we're too good. long. This thing, <laughs> this thing is wild. Um, all right, let's uh, we'll figure out a page. I was gonna have Mullen come on and just explain. All right, but you know that might not happen. So don't get your hopes up. We'll see what happens. We'll see if you get that or not, you little bro. I don't. Ha- I don't have hopes, bro. My family's marred by tragedy, so I just take it as it goes. Yep. I'll see you on the page. Whatever happens, happens, dude. It's fucking. Dark and twisted and gloomy. <laughs> I can't believe you actually seem kind of ashamed of your family's murderous past. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't fucking murder, dude. It was an honest accident. Yeah. Dude, what's worse? An honest accident. Your family's you know, either murders, dumb as fuck and worse, dropping dude. babies into the skook. It happens, dude. Back then, you had a lot of them. <laughs> no, it doesn't. A lot going on back then. A lot going on. Was she leaning over the boat? She probably looks like there's probably fish. She's like, oh, look. Check it out. And he was like, bloop, bloop. 
gupped out, dude. Hit, they probably hit it, and that was that. Dude, that, I mean, it was probably going think like how 20 fast knots. Fish, dude, think how fast you, like, fish a phone out of the fucking toilet if you drive. Like, there's not even a thought. You just fucking snag it yeah, immediately. Yeah, but a toilet's not a raging river, dude. This thing was probably... It's this, dude. You're acting like this is the Colorado, dude. This scook is not, moves, bro. The scook, scook moves, moves slightly. Like, you can swim in it. Oh, man, you're so wrong. You can I'm going to call my it. dad. I'll call my dad. I'll get my dad on and ask him how fast the Schuylkill goes, dude. He'll tell you. Look, I'm Schuylkill not denying moves, the Schuylkill's bro. fast, but. He'll carry you like 40 feet before you know what's going on. Okay. That's, I, that's... I traveled the Schuylkill as a kid a lot. I know, I know that somehow <laughs> defend, just describing how fast the Schuylkill is is defending your family. <laughs> so I appreciate what you're doing. But your grandma, <laughs> your great grandma is definitely a murderer. Calling her a snail. To... Calling her a snail. Uh, I'm, yeah. No, dude, it was an it was an honest accident, dude. Everyone, but again, but again, that's the real question: is which is worse? A genuine, I was holding my baby on a boat and dropped and it in. Is worse. An accident, and then I bro. dropped it in, and then I, I'm so incompetent that a baby on a boat. I lost a kid on this boat trip. Yeah, it's an accident. It's called a boating accident, bro. Happens. No, it's not a boating accident. It's like <laughs> you get hammered and somebody fell off and you can't find them. Someone might have been hammered. Could happen, point, bro. Like happen. that point, that was a good point. You stumped me on that. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> was, my head, my body was ready to move with a counterpoint. There was nothing I'm, there. I'm just thinking of like the divorce that followed it, and the guy was just like grounds for the divorce. And he's like, she fucking dropped my baby in the river, and they're like, all right, fucking yeah, that'd be fifty bucks. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, dude, that's a fuck up, bro. I was like trying to, I was thinking about that, I'd be like, dude. Imagine the my the monumental my bad on like, and the guy being like, "Yeah, you did fuck up, so we're done. You 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 crossed wow, the line." And they got a divorce. Shame, I mean, yeah, it was it shameful was. family. Shame. <laughs> this is disgusting, dude. I mean, this is my roots, bro. I I, I did roots, and I looked back, and there I'm was glad the- they. I'm dude. I'm so glad knowing that there was probably there's probably some sort of Gillis clan around to be like. She doesn't get communion. She does not get communion, dude. <laughs> Look, you do the genogram, dude. Go as far oh, as that. Can go. What the fuck are you doing? You don't get communion, <laughs> you slut. You murdering slut. Oh. Your great grandma was a murdering slut. Dude. It was on the mom side. It was all. It was the great- mom sides of the family always suck. <laughs> I, don't they? They're always the worst, don't they? Yes. Although alt right, Pat, my one cousin, does kind of rule. Yeah, I honestly genuinely enjoy my mom's side of the family, but that's what you said yeah, yeah. is true. There's a lot of times. Dad's side of the family definitely rules, though. Dad's side of the family rules. There's a lot of times. I know too many people that I'm like, you dig into the mom's side of the family, and it's just chaos, dude. You're like, what the, what the fuck is this? My mom's side of the family is definitely – my grandma – oh, this is funny. My aunt posted a picture. <laughs> oh, dude, I got two good ones. Did I tell you my – all right. What are we doing? I tried to wrap it up a minute ago. This is good. I uh, my There's a family group chat. Mm-hmm. And my mom, my sister gave my other sister's kids some slime to play with, like gack. Yep. And they're, they're, my sister sent a picture to the group chat and was like, they love the slime. And then my mom, I guess, tried to use a GIF search for like slime. <laughs> and it was just a facial. <laughs> it was just a GIF of a facial. And she put it in the fucking family group chat as a response, dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, was it like a squirting facial or was it, it was like, like a like picture a, of a glazed oh, face it was it was not cum oh, fuck it man. was uh fuck dude it was uh what was it if it wasn't cum what was it it was like pancake batter oh but, but i mean it, it is a gif of a facial oh my god she had no idea and... she thought she was putting up like a family double dare uh, yeah she i don't i don't know how she missed it because it's clearly a, She's a good girl. Control. That's why, dude. Just, no one's ever probably blasted her face. If you're a good girl. You don't look at pancake batter on someone's dude, face and think someone. My mom. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I forgot them at their house. <laughs> be down, the, dude. Imagine your 32 year old son coming home and being go down to the basement, and be like, "My mom definitely got blasted <laughs> in the face." <laughs> 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 just lowers the fucking Alexa and just turns the uh, walk a flock of flame back up. Just like fuck it, I don't want to hear this. Oh, oh man, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm done. God damn it! Shout out to all the ladies that got like 
hardcore porn stuff back in the 70s, dude. Like old, old, like generation one sluts, dude. That's wild. Yeah. I don't like that. Ugh. There's fuck, there was another story. So your mom sent a facial gift. Mom sent a facial gift. That was pretty good. That's that was pretty good nice. for the family. That That's was good for good. us to bond over. Um what were the gifts that followed it? Anyone send any real deals? No more gifts after. It was mostly just people saying, Oh my God. Oh my God, mom, what are you doing? What? Yeah, it was good. How'd she respond I mean, to it? how'd she respond? She's like, oh well, you guys are perverts. There's nothing wrong. she she took the defensive. She called you out first. She called everybody else perps. Oh yeah, my aunt my aunt posted on Facebook and was like, National Siblings Day. Also, R.I.P. This dog, the family's dog, was in the picture that died. Yeah. Also, her sibling died, and both her parents that were also in the picture. It's pretty funny to shout out like, "Oh, R.I.P. Otto the dog," and her two dead and my parents and sister. <laughs> anyway, that was fun stuff. Fun stuff. Good stuff, dude. I mean, I'm just having fun. Yeah, I'm just saying how dark and twisted my lineage is, dude. You got a fucking dark, twisted lineage, bro. Someone fell off a fucking wagon, too? Kid fucking sprang off a wagon. Kid my, fell? My aunt was like, either it was a disease or yeah. he fell off like a wagon. I so bet your like, someone, someone died your on grandma, land. Someone died your on grandma sea. was in the back of that, just like. <laughs> <laughs> Which one of these? <laughs> a little nudge, dude. Your great grandma was a dirty. I can't believe it, bro. He was actually he was clumsy, bro. She was a klutz. Excuse her. Have mercy on her, bro. She probably lived a tortured, tormented life. Yeah. I mean, regardless, she did live a tortured, tormented life. I mean, whether that was an accident or... True. True. Good, fair point. But no, I mean, your baby can keep you up at night. And then, you know, you're on a boat trip. You, all this thing's been doing is fucking screaming. Yeah. You're just on a boat trip like, if I just open my arms right now... <laughs> All goes away. Anyway, so you have that in your blood. Yeah. Shame. Tragedy. Trauma. Yeah, dude, it's pretty tight. Maybe you are twisted. Maybe I am, dude. <laughs> Maybe I am. Yo, how's War Mode? I haven't listened to it. Uh, it's fucking sick. I gotta listen to it. I might yeah, they, join their page. They talk about like underground tunnels and stuff. It's pretty tight. Oh, the mole children? They talk about yeah, that? Yeah, the mole children. You gotta feed the mole children. Yep. There was a, I just looked at a tweet where like all those QAnon people were like figuring out the proper terminology to, to use for the mole children. Was that, in, was that too insensitive? <laughs> no, Billy said he's going to adopt them. He should have a house of mole children. He said he's not going to have kids just so he can adopt the mole children. It's pretty funny. They talk about a bunch of shit. Nice. War mode's lit, dude. It's, it's Check out war mode. That's our, that's our latest creation. Yeah, their latest song. That's one of our, that's our latest spawn. I might be like your great grandma. I might drop one of these podcasts is going into the sc- I might nudge one of them off a wagon. One of them is going into the skookle, dude. Oh my god. Fantastic. All right. I care what, about you. What a dark app, dude. There's nothing dark about it. I don't know why it's, it's what it seems to be like actually bothered you. I feel like I'm gonna it get haunted, be. dude. I'm gonna get haunted. They, that is an El Cuco style thing. I mean, that's what El Cuco does. It feeds off the children. Sorry, I thought I saw something, dude. I'm in my basement right now. I don't want, I'm not, I would never, but you need to be extra vigilant is all I'm I saying. will. I will, Because for sure. El Cuco is definitely going to be looking at your family to curse you. I mean, dude, I, I am so careful with that shit. Because, dude, that's the thing, too. I have a baby now, and I'm like, one false fucking, like, I'm walking through the hallways at nighttime. Oh, like, yeah. One, you know, you walk through and you bang your elbow on the doorway. Instead of my elbow, that's my baby's soft fucking growing head now. So I have yeah. to, like creep around i'm like so conscious of what i'm doing it's it's tiring yeah i hate i hate uh i really hate having a baby around for that reason yeah like if somebody brings over their baby to like the house or something i'm like I, somebody told me a story about like a baby was there was like a family party and one of them crawled under the fucking recliner oh someone squished it and got up someone squished it. your great grandma was at this party and squished the fucking baby dude during the, <laughs> like a super bowl the doorbell rang like "Ooh, dominoes and hit the recliner down <laughs> like, <laughs> and then just while you're paying just like man i heard something in that couch oh fuck man please don't be a kid when i get back oh man pizza pizza's here <laughs> <laughs> oh um but yeah ever since that i've, I've always heard that yeah. story and i'd be like man that 
it's scary, no good. Dude. Scary. You squish a kid in the fucking lazy boy. That's that's terrifying, dude. That's why yeah. you know. Last night I was just fighting for my my mine and my child's life last night against those fucking jackals. You did the right thing. I was a ghost of my grandma, dude. I came back and got full fucking revenge. You did the right thing, dude. I did. Shamed him. You should have. You probably posed like fucking Ed Norton in American History X. How's that? The cops came just after you fucking chased them off, dude. The cops came. You just smiled with your white nationalist propaganda on your hoodie. This is, dude. He was in the California prison system. Dude, grow up. Prison segregated, dude. <laughs> the politics. Grow up, dude. <laughs> I'm grown, dude. I'm grown ass. Heard that. All right, we should end this. Let's do, all right, let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, and let me know what you want to do with the page. We'll figure it out. All right, I'll hit you up. I think he just texted me and said he needs to play Doom for the rest of the day. Fair enough. We'll figure. So it out. I don't know if we're getting Mullen. <laughs> we'll figure all it right. out. I'll, I'll hit you up later. Later.